Hi, Allison here. Um, I work part-time with Southern Counties. Uh, it's good to share just a few thoughts with you today and also share a warm um, hello and blessing from the whole team here at Southern Counties. When I was younger, um, I, I loved playing make-believe, <laughs> whether it was being um, the doctor and who was caring for patients or whether it was building forts with my sisters in our woods behind the house, or maybe it was just um, immersing myself in a really good story when I was younger. Um, I loved doing that. And I think part of that is how I'm wired. I also think Part of that is how we are wired as creative beings and we have a creative God that that idea of creating or being in something that's um, being created or experienced um, captures us. But I even know now um, as a fully fledged adult, the concept of being able to dive into a good story or um, something that's been created that I can take part in um, captures me even today. It brings me a lot of joy to watch a box set that I'm enthralled in or to um, read a story that I'm really captured by. Um, and it begs the question, is that just because of how I'm wired or is it because there's something about life you know, as we grow and as we mature, we realize life isn't always rosy and it's not always good. Sometimes there's a lot of pain. And is there something about being captured by a grand story or something that's being created that helps us for a time to live in more of the ideal or the grand story that's being worked out, maybe quicker than our personal lives are being worked out or that we've experienced? Um, maybe you can relate to this a little bit. Recently, I've been reflecting on some verses from Colossians 3. Uh, I love the book of Colossians. And before Colossians 3, we have Colossians 2, where um, we see Paul talking about, so then, just as you received Christ, continue to be rooted and built up in him. And that concept of you have received him, your life is flourishing through him and because of him. And then we go on to Colossians 3, and I just want to read a few little verses for you and offer a thought or two. Colossians 3, verses 3 and 4. Hear these. Uh, sorry, verses 1 through 4. Since then you have been raised to new life with Christ. Set your sights on the realities of heaven, where Christ sits in the place of honor at God's right hand. Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. For you died to this life, and your real life is hidden with Christ and God. And Christ, who is your life, is revealed to the whole world, you will share in all his glory. Verse 3, For you died to this life, and your real life is hidden with Christ and God. And when Christ, who is your life, appears and is revealed to the whole world, you will share in all his glory. For years, and recently, again, I've been captured by that little phrase, um, for you die to this life and your real life is hidden with Christ and God. Richard Rohr, Father Richard Rohr, who I um, respect and I, I, I love a lot of what he offers, uh, has said in the past around these verses, for your life is hidden in, with Christ and God. He relates that to times, um, how it's a truth we can cling to in times that might feel hard or times where maybe we feel like we've taken offense by something that's happened in life or taken offense by what someone has said about us or thinks about us or how they've responded to us or maybe how they haven't given us the respect that's deserved or haven't been able to acknowledge what we bring. Um, he comes back to this verse and this is the thought he offers. He says, whenever we take offense or we feel offense rising up in our heart or in our minds, actually, that's your false self. And what he means by false self, he means all the things that are defined in this life. <laughs> The things that will come and go. He said, the false self is what can be offended. But our true self, the true self that um, has understood Christ and is rooted in him and knows we're children of his, our true self can never be offended because it's hidden with Christ and God. It can never be shifted. It can never be moved. Um, it's always safe and secure. And I love that thought and I offer that thought today and how does that connect to um, ex enjoying stories and uh, things we can dive into? Well, this is, this is 
these are my swirling wrapped up thoughts I can bring to you is life is hard. Um, we have times of great joy and celebration, but we also have times where things feel so unknown and we're living in the mystery and trusting God in that. Or maybe we're in relational um, unrest. There's not harmony in some relationships. Or maybe there's times where we are feeling very offended by the things around us or the people we're inter interacting with us. Life is hard. And that is our reality that's that 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 is our daily life that we know <laughs> um but there's a few choices we have in that one could be uh and this is this isn't a bad thing because we all do this uh we dive into that which is um made up made believe the good stories the good things that capture us that help just maybe bring us joy but also help us take us away from the reality that is that's one, one way to go and uh the and I know I'm speaking this harshly, there's joy in those things that we can experience. But the other thing, and the, the thing that this verses I think can speak to and bring us hope is that here's the deal, in, in the celebration times of life and in the struggle times of life, we know this life is passing. We know the Bible says that it's not our true reality. The reality that exists and we hope for and we live in even now is that our lives are hidden with Christ and God and the, this life is fleeting but the life we have in him is eternal and there's something about these verses that I think can bring us hope in these times and maybe even, a, even an invitation in these times. Since you have been raised in new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities of heaven, the realities of things not in this world, the realities of the unshifting truths of who God says we are and in what we live in. Um, think about the things of heaven and not of earth. For when Christ, um, who is your life, is revealed, the whole world is revealed to the whole world, you will share in his glory. Our hidden life in Christ is our real life. That can't be shifted, that can't be taken away, that that can't be offended. Um, now that's easily spoken and it's, it's hard to live in sometimes, but my encouragement for you today would be that um, whether this is a celebration time or just a hard, uh, hard daily slog, we are part of a grand, grand story where we already know that the victorious one has won out. We already know that our hope and our salvation is assured. And we don't even know that just for the future. We don't know that just for the future. We know that for today. Um, so my prayer and my hope and encouragement would be as you dwell in this truth that your life is hidden with Christ and God.